Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for episode eight, the final episode of season four of The Boys. Let's get ready to jump into this. If you want to see the full and three action, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for Camera the channel, gives you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for actually the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote what movies react to each month. We got month Q and A's, behind scenes footage to try to make it worth your while since you are going out of your way to support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction. At least you like. Drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. And with that all said and out of the way, let's get ready to jump into episode eight. Here we go. Stunning news out of Vought Studios, who are canceling the eagerly anticipated film Training A Train, though it's completely finished. We just realized we'd make more from the write-off. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. We will count the certificates in an orderly fashion. With no debate, as I was saying. After I was a fucking virus, Frenchie. That's more. I'm close. Oh, that is disgusting. No, I told you, Vicky locked it all down. Please lower your voice. <laughs> hey. Yeah, funny hey. about that shifter. Hey. What are you getting into now? The night before my great grandfather shipped out, he put on his dress uniform, barged into dinner <laughs> at my great grandmother's house, and got down on one knee. Okay. Uh, Stand up, please. Huey Campbell. Uh, Will you marry me? Huh. Uh, <laughs> you need to stay right here, okay? Just don't move. Okay. Do not move. <laughs> God, that music shift too. Hi. Oh my God, and it's like the record wound back up again. AJ, wow. I am terrified of what's going to happen. God damn it! I feel so. <sighs> what is it, what is the purpose of doing this to Huey? What is with this season and hurting Huey so much more? Like it's almost okay, like a right. fetish at this point. So. uh not even almost. It definitely has to be. Yeah, what the fuck is her play? That was great. Two fingers was a lot, but... Uh! Trying to level up. Oh, no, it's... It's fine, it's great. <laughs> oh, oh, it's wearing off. Just, she's got a time limit on it. Get a vote from the state. And has oh, shit. To it. Okay. Or 90 over 60. So, as far as we know, he didn't murder that entire club. You still have me. You ain't even fucking real. Well, no, that's an interesting philosophical question. Oh, that's interesting. I'm the one that gave you the juice that you needed, and I can do it again. All you have to do is hold up your end of the bargain. Bargain? Yeah, what the fuck does that mean? You go all the way. Come on, champ. What's a little genocide between friends? Wait, would he just do that with his own hands? Oh, wow. That's shocking. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot she was still around. <laughs> we saw her once earlier in the season, and that was it. Gives me fun. We got work to do. Uh, that's so unnerving. Every time Butcher's handed a decision this season and these little specters are around, I I just I just get so unsettled as far as to what he's gonna do. He's he's surprised us so far along the journey with all these like uh kind of anti-butcher calls up until this point. But I'm just waiting for that one where he finally slithers back, and I'm hoping that doesn't happen, but I'm always worried about it. Oh. Oh, no. I was more than him breaking a picture. Okay, he still has the picture. Come here now. Ryan? Ryan? Uh, 
are you fucking, these are Lunchables? I mean, hey, I mean, I can't, I'm kind of surprised she's feeding her. I guess she needs her alive I, to, to keep topping off. Why the fuck would I kill your mother? That requires going to Sedona oh, can and she... no one. Oh, that's how she knows this shit. Not only does she take your visage, she can... This? I proposed to Huey this morning. Oh, you bitch. You're more moral, good, and honest than the rest of us. Just wallowing down in the shit. I don't think that. Yeah, you do. Come on, mind reader. Remember? Wow. Her getting to, like, play both of these in this situation. Come on, sing it with me now. I'm Manny January, and it's not my... Fuck you. Ugh. Oh God, I'm Annie January and I'm the only good one. <laughs> oh my good God. To wash down those mean lad munches. Uh, you need to figure out how to light the fuck up here real fast. When I was a lad, I heard about this place. Nirvana Steakhouse, where the birds get their baps out when they bring you a ribeye. Then he nearly pissed himself when I told him. Thought it was the funniest thing he ever heard. We was gonna go there someday. Funny what you think about when your time's up, isn't it? But you, where are you? I, I can come to you. Now we can figure this out. Mm. Oh, would you, Huey? Go there. Oh. Tell the boys I'm sorry. Just tell them I'm sorry. Goodbye, Huey. He's going to give in, isn't he? How are you doing this part? <laughs> Excuse me. Can we just make this quick, please? I have slightly more important things to do. Did they get her with it already? And when, if so, when did it happen? Homelander and Vice President-elect Victoria Newman. <laughs> Bless both your hearts for being here. Was it in her coffee? She hadn't got it yet, so... I don't know. Dakota Bob says he's going to pass nutbag anti-soup laws in his first hundred days. Oh no. What the fuck is he going to do? Of the super able community, <laughs> I think that it's important to... <laughs> Ally? Victoria, really? We're here to tell the truth. Oh no. He's going to do this right now. Victoria here is a superhero. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. I mean, like, I think the truth is we all want to be heroes. I, um, I'm not literally. A... Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. That uh, shakes things up a bit. Hey, I worked my whole life to keep that secret. Well, secrets rot your soul. If you're unburdened, you should thank me. Sage said. Fuck Sage. We are going to change the world for our kids and their kids. The first super abled president. I'll be impeached. Why would we care? Because I have to get reelected in four years. That's Article two of the Constitution. New world, new rules. Now shut the fuck up and listen. My God. You'll have to arrest half your company, half the country. Wait, you think I didn't think of that? Of course I thought of that. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's the ball game. Open season on Singer now. Frenchy, tell me you got something. No, no, no. Do you want to try this instead of me? I mean, they still don't have something, but like they made a point to show that Firecracker was already sluggish and coughing and whatever. What if there's some more of it out there that we don't know about? Somebody else had their hands on it. That's right. Because I, I thought that choice, was me, like me. really I odd. Because as far as we saw, he hadn't got it ready yet. Fuck. What? What happened? It's all gone. Everything we have on Newman. Oh, wow. It's all gone. The originals, the backups, oh, we've got Oh, fuck nothing. you. Ain't none stopping it in. In the background, smirking her ass off. I mean, it's interesting that she is sick or under the weather, so maybe if she does get infected, she's not going to know the difference. If Victoria Newman becomes vice president, it will be over my dead body because she had me assassinated. Wow. Oh, shit. How'd she pull that off with Homelander in the headspace he's in? Well, I'm not sure I want to leave. I kind of like it there. Well, parts of it. You see? You gotta stab him with the virus, and you gotta do it today. When your mom died, which 
weren't your fault. You heard what she said. She had me promise to keep you safe, and that's all I'm trying to do here. Now, if you're telling me, I mean seriously telling me, that the place you feel safest is with Homelander. After today, that is uh, some straight bullshit, if he says he does. Do you want to play? All right, then. Come on. Mm. Oh, 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 sorry, you're setting in Kessler. Now you feel bad about it, huh? Thank you. I highlighted anyone whose contract would have to pay out if they're... And she's still giving milk to him. I don't know. I feel like, why did we linger on that? Somebody else has to have dripped the virus out somehow. Seven is a circle of trust. <laughs> See, what the fuck is that? Am I missing something? Did I forget in between here and last week? Where, where and when and how the virus is, uh, who, like, who's got their hands on the virus? Bloodshed, etc., etc. Someone will have to swoop in and restore order. And he's taking another sip. You know, the, the meds, they're just, they're causing a little heart palpitation okay. and a high fever, but it ain't no big thing. Uh, oh. Go further now. Scoot. Mm. But is that really what it is? Further. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, dude, you got a full on glass of her right there. Everyone on this list needs to be removed permanently by the end of the day. Wow. Wouldn't Ashley's name be at the top of the list? Uh, Good idea. Does anybody know Ashley's last name? Wow, are you kidding? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. She did it. What's her power going to be? Assuming she survives to manifest it. Oh! What in the world? For all I fucking know, they could be in here already. So from now on, everybody moves with a partner and you check in every five minutes. Well, he's not wrong there. She is already in here. It's like a furnace in here. Oh, Huey! You should go find some water. Do you want one? I would love one. I'll be right back. Okay. You Sherlock Holmes little lad, I love you. Now tell everybody now. Tell them now. <laughs> uh, dislocate your thumb and pull. Oh. Uh, Oh, oh, or not, or not. Your soup, you'll heal, right? Yeah, you'll be fine. Trust me, I don't know how or when they switch, but that is 100% not Annie. Okay, 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 listen. The fate of the country relies on us keeping our shit together, so just chill. Hey. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Thank you. Yep, we did that. That is a thing that we did. For the record, <laughs> I propose, because... Get him pegged, pegged in all his holes. Listen, getting hitched, best oh, no. decision ever made in my life. So congratulations to you both. And she's picking up on it. He's his tick is kicking in too. Y'all just hold down the. Floor. Yes, motherfucker. Damn. God, that is just ridiculous. Oh, whoa! She turned him into an L block. Oh my God, in this slow ass door. Oh my God, that is awful. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, what the fuck? 
Is that necessary? Just don't turn into Kimiko. Oh my gosh, she just tried to bite her too. Oh! God, it's always so freaky when shit like that happens, man. Oh, here we go. Yo! Wait, how the hell did she get here? Now light her ass up. You couldn't even blast yourself out, could you? Damn. Dude, what the fuck? All right, tag team this bitch. I don't know who the fuck I am, but I do know. I'm the bitch feeding your ass. No way. Damn. You can shoot the shit out of her, but good old stranglehold will conquer out just like that. Man, I guess it makes sense. You will be president, and you will go along with every word I say as if my hand was jammed up your tight, puckered little asshole like the puppet you've always been. And Victoria, oh my if God. you stray even an inch off that path, I will make sure you nothing some flickers of frisky for dingo the of there. Life, and I will send you a piece of her every year for the fucking rest of yours. Wow. That is fucked up. Well, guess who has two thumbs and he's the motherfucking genius of all fucking geniuses. The virus is... You really want to... <laughs> what happened to you guys? Long story, Frenchie. Long story. Aww. So damn cute. But do you, would you, should you really be kissing the canister holding this thing? I know it doesn't affect humans, but still, it's the principle of the thing. I actually... Also found your fiance. Oh. Congratulations. Oh no. So you did fuck her. I mean, you know. How many times? It had to be less than 20. Oh my <gasps> fucking god, I was gone for 10. Wow. I thought it was you. Yeah, and as long as you were getting laid, you didn't look too close. That's the Annie you want. Down to go down whenever the perfect girl, not someone who is. Oh, come on. That's not fair. In the bunker, she was sweating. And you have always been and always will be 90% Pashmina. I love that about <laughs> you. All your weird, <laughs> amazing fucked upness. That's what makes you you. I get it. Like, it's got to be weird as shit. But it's also, you can't really, I, I feel like you can't hold him that, that deep in the doo-doo. Like, it's going to take her a minute to, like, process all of this, though. It's gone too far. No, no, you're just saying that because the assassination failed. No, I'm saying that because it'll never fucking end. I'll resign without a fight. Okay, fuck all the way off. The shit that you have done. What, like how you got Samir to cook up some more of the virus to kill me? Oh, and yeah, cut off his fucking leg. Ah, glad you two connected. Okay. So <laughs> and you didn't exactly leave us with a ton of options. Look, the point. I didn't do the leg thing, just saying. I wanted to feel safe. Not like that scared fucking kid at Red River. But I don't feel safe and I'm really fucking scared. <laughs> Is she okay? Yeah, but if I get her, it'll draw too much attention. And that's how you know you can trust me, because I am trusting my daughter with you. Wow. I mean, as long as your daughter doesn't eat one of our faces, you know, it's kind of endearing the bond they built, despite all the lies. <laughs> wow. God damn. Dude, it's gotta be more than just her milk meds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, bro, you're on the list. Don't kill me. I can pay you. <laughs> you're a writer, you don't get paid shit. <laughs> you're just saying that because you're scared, aren't you? No, I swear. Yeah, you are. But you know what, bro? That's good enough for me. Oh! I was like, how's this gonna happen? Well, just like that. Have you seen Ashley? <laughs> oh, bro. The other uh, Ashley. This Ashley's not even on the list. Wow. Well, I don't know. I don't even know his name. Fucking Ashley. <laughs> we only hire Ashleys. 
It's insane that we're even discussing this. What's insane is that our solution to every problem is murder. It shouldn't be that way. This isn't some fucking Vought movie. Violence isn't brave. Mm. Forgiveness, letting go, a little fucking mercy. That's brave. It's crazy, but it's brave. It's about the last thing my dad ever taught me, and I just think, if we're ever gonna win against monsters, I think we need to start acting human. Mm. I don't know if that'll work against Homelander, but we can treat other people as such. Fuck it. Andy, we're probably dead either way. Might as well go out with our heads held high, so fuck it. Oh, great. I mean, <laughs> he's not wrong. You are getting tested for every single disease known to mankind, okay? That's I'm fair. Not getting shift or syphilis. <laughs> shift or syphilis? <laughs> Aww. Yeah, there we go. She's just needed a second. Someone that wasn't her. Mm -hmm. There is no one better than you. No. Let's go. What are we going to do about her little friend that's just running around? We haven't addressed that at all since our last little run in. We're going to try again. And that virus is a Hail Mary at best. We are out of time and out of better options. Ryan needs to know the truth. The assassination attempt, it was on your father's orders. And Flight 37, Homelander killed every soul on board. You're lying. We have it on video, and he's murdered countless more. Your father Just isn't who you stop. think he is, and he wasn't having an affair with your mother. Christ! He raped her! We'll talk it out together. I don't want to talk. I'll be back. I, I just need to think. Listen, Ryan, there ain't going to be another time for you and me, all right? Let's just take a breather. Okay? You can't. Don't kill Mallory. The CIA's Hazlitt safe house designed to hold people like you. I could seal us in here, flood the room with halothane, and we all take a nice long nap. But I don't want to do that, kiddo. You planned this. Oh. We brought you here to help you. You're locking me in a cage unless I agree to be your weapon. Just like they did to wow. my dad. Wow. The way it is, honest. Wow. E. Ryan, when I lost my grandkids, it left this big, empty black hole inside me. Oh, you, he's going to put a hole inside you. Somebody is about to put a hole in you. You don't say that. Get out of my way. Grace. Oh, I'm no. Sorry. Oh, no. Oh! Eh, yep, and that, that, she's definitely done. Her bones popping out the side of her neck right there. Well, what do we do now? Plan K? You help me get clear of Homelander and Singer's people at the CIA, and I go quietly. Hmm. And you'll owe us one. A lot more than one. Mm. Oi. Uh-oh. No deals. Uh-oh. I can explain. Oh no, he's going to kill her. He's going to throw him aside. Yeah. Oh! Oh my god. Dude, are we going to have to use it on Butcher? Wow, dude. If it wasn't Venom like before, it definitely is now. Oh my God. Oh, oh. Wow. We don't have much of this episode left either, man. Hours after revealing to the world that she is super able. Another piece of his plan is, uh, is gone now. What are you doing here? Celebrating. We won. Here. <sighs> Everything's turned to shit. Plan's dead. Wait, this was this all? Are you fucking kidding me? Just had to keep a few bits to myself. You know, the bits you'd fuck up by. You know, being you. <laughs> if you'd killed Newman like I ordered, we wouldn't be stuck four stories oh. underground. 
president elect Robert Singer oh. taken into custody by federal agents. Wow. Well, Speaker of the House Calhoun, once they invoke the 25th, he's next in line to be president. He'd like to pledge his allegiance to you. Holy shit. <laughs> I told you, you could trust me, boo. <laughs> I got your back. Wow. Even when he didn't trust her, even when he didn't trust himself or anybody else, she still followed through. I threw you out like a, like garbage. Why would you do this? To see if I could. Why any brilliant person ever does anything. You know, next time, listen to me. Wow. Next time? Oh, hells yeah, blonde ambition. <laughs> Buckle up for face two. Oh, come on. I am declaring martial law and deputizing hundreds of superheroes nationwide. Oh, my God. America will be safe again. And to the Starlighters, whatever rock you're hiding under, we're coming for you. Oh, she can light up a little bit. Where hope, purity, and Jesus' love shine down upon us all. Yeah, I guess it was just her milk meds that were fucking with her real hard. No, in Starlight's agenda has been thwarted. Oh, wow. So he's going to Red River. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, no. Oh my god, are you kidding me? The fucking dick. Monsters who want to destroy our heritage, traffic our children, and feminize our men. Where? Dude. Oh! 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 <laughs> Oh, shit, let's go! She finally nailed it! And most of all, we will make America super again. God damn it, man. Wow. And that is where we're leaving everybody, heading into the final season. Post credits. You were my first call. And the God. It's the underground bunker for oh, Soldier Boy. God, this chain of fucked up fatherhood is insane, dude. <laughs> My God. Well, fuck, man. This was an interesting season. I know the opinions on it have been very mixed um, up until this point. I mean, up until this point, it's over. So there's not really anything else. I don't know why I said that. You know, I've seen a lot of mixed feelings about this season. I, I've i enjoyed it. And I, I don't know if uh, I've enjoyed it more because of the break between season three and four, as well as the refresher that was Gen V. That really kind of, like I've talked about before, revitalized my intrigue with this universe a little bit more after it was starting to little, you know, wane a little bit. So I don't know if it part of it is that, but I, I did really enjoy this, this season. It does by the end of it feel very much like a bridge to the final season to season five. You know, it was all like this long haul crescendo that we don't quite get to the peak. I think that's my major, is it a criticism or is it just an observation? Sometimes those lines can blur a little bit because I feel like we were building, 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 but we never stopped building. Like we never hit that that peak, that cre that crescendo, that, that climax. You know, we didn't have that pop at the end, that release. So we're just kind of left being edged <laughs> a little bit. I don't have a better way to put it. 
You know, there's a lot of like loose threads as well that we haven't come back to to address. Ryan is in the wind. We don't know where he went after all of this. So like they, we've like entertained every idea. Maybe they could have had a softer pitch to him to win him over, but they tried revealing the truth and getting him to side with them. It didn't work in the way that they had hoped. And I do, like, even though it sucks that Mallory died and that Ryan has yet another life on his hands. And somebody, again, super close to him that he trusted versus mother, now Mallory. Who's next? It's just upsetting. It's got to be for Ryan, it, like, being in this position. Because they were trying to cage him like a dog. And they should have... I feel like they should have known where that was going to go, but I, I obviously they've reached a point of desperation and they had to do something. I think there's a an easier way to go about that, but again, we were short on time. But, you know, Butcher, hey, got to give it to him. He tried every other avenue until the only one he was left with was turning to Kessler, you know, fulfilling that desire, that urge, that darkness in him that he's had since the very beginning that he was coming for them all. And even though we had struck a deal with Newman, you know, we were going to work together. She was going to become an unofficial member of the boys. He came in and said, <laughs> nah. And he fucking tentacled her ass into oblivion, took the virus, and now he's off. And now with everything that's happened, this whole chess game that Sage had been playing, this was all part of the plan. Like, she had fallbacks, contingencies, things happened that weren't exactly part of it, but she was able to make it work, and the whole drive at the end was like, hey, I betrayed you, I tossed you out, why are you still doing this? It was like, just to see if I could. It was a challenge. It was a game. She literally was treating it like a game of chess. She was just playing it against the world the country, the powers that be. And at the end of the day, so far, she's won. She's put everybody into a checkmate at the moment. Or at least a check. The way the show's gonna go, it's not gonna be a checkmate. We're gonna, we're gonna figure a way out of this, as messy as it is. Now these Vought forces that have been officially greenlit and militarized because of the way they staged all these different things, and no matter how it played out, they had a way to spin it in their favor to get Homelander in the position that he is, to get the soups rallied and deputized under the government to police everything this martial law you know they purged everybody within Vought itself that has any dirt on any of them they've basically immunized themselves to pr any kind of pr downfall that they could face you know they're pinning it all on starlight and her crew and her followers and they were able to track them all down and kate Oh my god. Again, her power is so fucked. Getting her hands on Frenchie like that. Ugh, after that moment that they finally had. And I know one of the biggest complaints in this season too was it felt like we were building those two as maybe a potential end game, and then it felt like we just kind of tossed that aside. And while I think that could be seen as like a, a way to kind of draw things out and do the drama of it all, and very well kind of seems like it was the case because those two storylines, were they necessary? I don't know. As far as finding her voice, it kind of was for hers, for her piece of it, and reconciling. But I feel like you could have done that without the call and stuff. But I did find the call and stuff kind of intriguing in its own right. I didn't dislike it. I'm just acknowledging that there was a conversation around it before. But there are some elements of this season that I do feel like was just a, a bit padded, a little bit of padded to kind of draw it out a little bit. But I still overall enjoyed the end result. But, you know, it got us to the end here. And as he's being carted away, brainwashed by Kate, she finally woke up. Her voice, she screamed, called out, fucking the heartstrings while Sam was holding her down. Surprised he didn't try to, one, kill her or whatever. I don't know. We still don't really know the extent of his abilities. There's still a lot of mystery around just how powerful he is and what exactly his power is. I guess we're going to wait and explore that in Gen V Season 2, which is supposed to come out before, or was originally going to come out before Season 5, so... I don't know if that's still the plan with the way things have fallen. I guess we'll have to wait and see. And then we have Zoe going into the Red River. The one thing that, they, you know, Newman was trying to avoid this entire time was her ending up in the same 
situation that she was raised in and butcher center right there it's fucking it's kind of gross man it sucks it sucks and then we got these other escapees that are just being weaponized starlight's the only one that got away butcher's the only one that got away everybody else has been detained i do think that there wasn't enough of a resolution to annie and her powers i guess all she needed was to accept that when she was throwing hands with her doppelganger to just be like, hey, I don't know who the fuck I am, blah, blah, Just admit, I don't know. You know, and then she was lighting up in the cars. They were driving away. And then she was able, in the desperation of that moment, light up and fly away. Something she hasn't been able to gracefully do yet. So, I don't know. Motivation's a bitch. So, sometimes desperation and motivation in these heated situations can ignite what you couldn't do before. Coming back to Ryan, we don't know where he is now. He's literally teetering on an edge. And this legacy, this revelation about Homelander and his crimes, I don't know how he's going to wrestle with that. I don't know how he's going to wrestle with the way he was being treated here. He's just so trapped in these expectations laid upon him by both sides. And then us ending here with Homelander standing over Soldier Boy, you just have this, this cycle that just keeps perpetuating in one way, shape, or form from his father to him to his kid and so on and so on and so on. The cycle repeats itself, and I'm just hoping that Ryan can break that. Things aren't looking good, though. And just how powerful is this cancer of butchers, man? Can he, like, I mean, it was a wild sight seeing those tentacles shoot out of him. The literal tumor in his chest, living and just eviscerating people. It's just fucking wild. And then fucking... <sighs> M.M. getting conked out by the dude with the giant snake dick of all people to send after him. We also have Ashley shot up with V. We don't know what that did to her. She was on the list to be taken out too, but her assistant got taken out instead. That was a fun little joke about all the Ashleys that work there. And they did a fun little bit with her and our Ashley, the main Ashley, Ashley Prime. They were just like back and forth, almost like the bro scene in the hallway with uh, The Deep and Noir. You had a moment with them just being like, oh, shut up, Ashley. I know, Ashley. Hey, Ashley. Between the two Ashleys. That was kind of funny. The shifter, the way Huey was able to finally figure it out in these small ways, but it's still, it's still such a shitty situation, especially after the proposal and all the banging and all of that, and then she was just tucked away and having it thrown in her face by this doppelganger. That whole scene with her acting against herself was just really, really well done. And also, talking about acting across from one another, Anthony... Uh, acting off of Ryan, uh, again, Andy Starr does a phenomenal job at just showing unhinged Homelander. Just all of these different facades. And when he found that picture of Billy and Rebecca, the dog, and, you know, he really upset him. It freaked him out. He's like, I'm your father. And then it, yeah, and then he just destroyed his suite. It's so one of those things. It's like, where where is Ryan going to fall? Because he witnessed that, and now he knows these things. And even though he's done some bad, and he's been mistreated on both sides of the fence, what's he going to do? I don't know. I did think that someone somehow had slipped firecracker some of the virus. You know, it had. I've had some people say that like when they arrived at the farm, that it had just all been used up in the testing, and it hadn't been stolen. But I still think there was the possibility it could have been ransacked and taken. It felt like that was what they were setting up there with Firecracker coughing and being disheveled and all this kind of stuff as she was like fatigued and very barely holding herself together. But it was the revelation that she's literally destroying herself just to smooth up to Homelander and you know, produce this milk for him. And at the end of the day, it seems like that's all that was. It would have been crazy if some third party, maybe even Sage herself somehow, just in this one last little fuck you, after using her to get to this point in the plan, maybe she was no longer needed and just, you know, I don't know, somehow got a hold of it, maybe even replicated herself. She's the smartest person on the planet. Why not? So for me, I think like looking at the seasons as a whole and trying to take the recency bias out of this, as well as challenge my own 
fatigue with the series. I do still think season three maybe overall holds up better structurally, as well as some of the payoffs as well. So I, I'm probably going to go with release order is probably still my ranking. So season one, two, three, four. I like all the seasons. So like, it's not like any of them are bad, but one's got to be at the end. So if we throw Gen V into the mix, though, my in my ranking is probably season one, two, Gen V, three, four. Hey, maybe season one of Gen V might even be number two. I haven't seen any of those. I've seen season one, but I haven't really watched season two or three. Uh, since I watched them for the first time. Maybe before season five comes out, I'll rewatch everything. But guys, let me know what you guys thought. I'd love to hear from you all. Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for Grammar Marvel's channel, get you access as well. Speaking of before you go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Share, your course got Melito, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey L, Jake and Trail, Eric Official, Casey Wood, and Russell Crockett. Thank you guys so much for continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.